everyone, you are welcome to another episode of Celebrity Plus. My name is Annie, A to the N to the N to the Y. Annie, we have a whole lot for you. Do not go anywhere, just relax. Like, don't touch that dial. I'm coming back. Let's take this short break. See ya. Hello people, my name is Nosa, N to the O to the S to the A. And guess what? I'll be your host for today. Me, I know things so. Hi there, and guess what? I'm your lovely, lovely host, Nikki La Oye. Hmm. I know some people want to fight me. I'm sorry. I'm a shaggy babe for life, man. Federal Government Girls College, Shagamu. And, um, the University of Saxophone and Entertainment, you know, and uh, <laughs> that's my journey. Believe in yourself. Nobody can believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. Hey, what's up everyone? This is your girl, K to the S to the B. This is, I call myself, Kizzo Sizzle Bizzle. <laughs> but you call me Kenneth Best. The wrong, the wrong, the wrong, good. You're welcome back to Celebrity Plus. I remain your host, Annie. from Delta State of Nigeria, from Sapele to be precise, I am a worry girl. You know when they say wafi, you know they carry lad, worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm from, you know, Delta State and um, I'm from the, I'm from a family of six, three girls, no, three, three, yeah, three girls, three boys. My journey with music will be love at first sight. Well, I come to a Pentecostal church, I used to be Catholic. And then the children's choir came out to sing. I'd never seen that in my entire life. Don't blame me. And voila, I, lo- I fell in love with the way I like y- children young, as young, I'm, I, you know, as, as young as I was then singing. And I was like, wow. And luckily for me, my sisters, my big sisters who took me there that day stayed in the church. And every, day, every time, you know, they, they go in church, I follow them. And somehow I find myself in the children's choir. For me, it was just... Pfft, Excitement, just love singing, just love singing. But I'll say officially, it will be 10 years today. Yes, that music started for me, that I began to understand the essence of music. I began to understand that I had a calling in music. I remember those days, I would be screaming in the house, shout, my, my mother would say, please, go to the studio and go and record. I remember the first time in 2005 that I heard myself sing from like i went to, i went to the studio recorded a song blah 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 and i heard myself I was like who is that singing and he said that's your voice now it was it was so exciting but in 2019 in 2009 officially you know i got the strong call i got the the leading and god started giving me songs you know not songs that uh, you just sit and you think songs that you know, encounter, you, you, you know, they're having encounters with God and, you know, songs that are coming and all of that and all of that. So I've done a whole lot. I've won awards, best um, songs, best collaboration. I've won an award in the UK in Women in Entertainment and Art. I've won Crystal Award and won Nigerian Gospel Award. I have tried. These days, gone award. Only but she already is one kind. But, you know, I'm just trying to tell you, I'm not being proud. I, I, I see somebody saying this girl is proud. I'm not being proud. I'm just trying to let you know what God has done and how far, you know, I've come. I've had, I've had three albums. Mm-hmm. You think it's a joke? One song, last song, to record one song. Go and ask music producer. It's not 100,000. All these people are doing 100,000 songs for you. They're just, they just helping your ministry. So you can understand what I'm talking about. And I have over 10 videos. That money can build a house. But because of the gospel, because of the gospel and what people, t- I remember somebody telling me, Annie, when you were writing this song, did God tell you something? Did God give you a story f- for me? Did God tell you about me? That's, I'm talking about Jesus. She said, because this song has been, you know, and that was, that's one person. Another person told me my child was really ill. 
this girl is in one of the extreme members, you know, extreme team Godfrey people. She told me this song, my daughter was sick and I, I just kept playing this song and before morning, so many testimonies. How much can we give? Really? There is not amount of money we spend that is too much for the gospel. That's what I'm trying to say when I was saying that it is not cheap, but you know, God keeps providing because we reach out to people. You understand me? You know what I'm saying? Am I talking too much? Okay, let's go for a break. We'll come back. We'll come back now. Baba Oba Kongo Aye Baba Eshegon Baba Eshegon my name is DJ Gasparella. This is Celebrity Plus. So, this is Celebrity Plus, and my name is OK Chooks. Believe you me, you're going to have a fantastic time today on this episode. I am your host for today. Now, don't go anywhere, because if you do, you'll be missing a lot. It's your girl, Monique, and I'm live on Celebrity Plus, and today I will be your host. My name is Annie, A to the N to the N to the Y. You are welcome to another episode of Celebrity Plus. Produced by Roger Good. Um, talking about challenges in the music industry. Ah, one ball. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, including this one. But you know what? God keeps helping us. God keeps a lot of challenges. For one, um, for me, I'll talk about myself personally. Being married is a very good thing. But the truth of the matter is, there are things you can't do. You cannot just pack your bag and go and be singing and forget your family. Eh. For me, my family comes first. I have had to cancel events when um, I probably did not get good information about my children's, you know, PTA and all of that. I've had to say, sorry, I cannot come. Because you know what? You cannot be successful. I'm talking to ministers now. You cannot have a successful ministry without having a successful home every time you have issues at home it will affect you so that is why I do not joke with my family but it somehow poses a challenge because people really want you to come and bless them but your family is calling so somehow but we find a way to you know get along with that like getting I have you know good family who you know help me for 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 instance my big sister has grown up children. She has not just grown up, they are 20 something. I went to stay close to her because my girls are still teenagers. So if I really have to travel for an event, oh yeah, everybody pack your load because my husband works. He will not sit down at home all the time. So I pack my load, their load to my sisters. And sometimes they are home with, you know, um, our living nanny. But because you don't leave your children all the time in the hands of a nanny, hence, my sister's um, side of the whole thing. And aside from all of that, I'm giving you the problems and solutions now. You must find a way to prioritize. When, when you're pressed for time, when you're pressed for prioritize, it will help you as a music minister. Um, the challenges of um, funding, I know that's, that's the biggest. Anybody watching me now that is interested in doing music, number one, money, cohesive. Some people take as much as 350 to do one track. And you want to do an album, an album of 10 songs, 1 million plus. I would advise a lot of people, even the ones that are already doing ministry, you can do something by the side. Do you know our churches, money business, don't she? They have businesses. They have things that's bringing money. Apart from tithe and offering, you will not sit down and say, uh -huh, no work, nothing. Then if by a church not call you, you go the vest for pastor because you can get a job. Wow, wow, wow. You're welcome to another episode of Celebrity Plot. I didn't plan to be a singer. I wanted a career. My name still remains Salmos. Uh, that song was another masterpiece. You didn't make me wonder if you can remember. If to say you no love me, what shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Okay, let's just say that I learned what by watching I people play. Me, 
Me. <laughs> so welcome back. Yes. For hmm. he has done so very much for me. From us, produced by Rugged Goods. I want to encourage you. I, I, want to, I want to let you know that your words are powerful. The things you say, the things you do not say. The Bible says you are justified by the words of your mouth. Let no one deceive you. He also said you are condemned by the words of your mouth. It's both ways. God has given us the liberty to choose which way to go. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what anybody's telling you, no matter what situations and circumstances are telling you, I want you to stay with the word of God. The Bible says our future in bread. In Proverbs 4, 18, it says the path of the righteous is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. If God has given you that blank check, why would you sit down and say, oh, I don't even know. You will know what your future looks like from Proverbs 418. So when we sing songs like this, it is just to enhance or to, um, to, to carry it in line with the scriptures that God has given to us. So have I made some sense? <laughs> have, I, have I made some sense right now? I know, even if you don't tell me, me, I know I've made some sense because it is working for me and it is also going to work for you. I'm sure it's working for you. Continue it. Continue saying it. Continue declaring. Continue confessing. You will see it come to pass in your life. Remember, confession brings possession. Remember, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. It is not a cliche. It is the truth of the matter. What you do not see, you will not see. The Bible says the expectation of the righteous will not be cut short. As you were expecting it, say it, declare it. When you don't have money, say to yourself, money comes to me. I receive money. I receive help. Doors are opening for me. Things like that. It is better. Jesus said that when you're complaining, with all your complaints, how is that help? I'm paraphrasing that scriptures. I think it's Matthew 6. I'm paraphrasing it. In complaining, he said, how many strands of hair can you add? Would you not rather go through the way of life by confessing and say the things that, you know, will better your life than complain and murmuring and crying? You will, innit? God bless you. See, so that's why I love you. I hope you have enjoyed everything I've been saying this morning. I hope, you have, I hope you've been, been able to benefit in one thing or the other. I just want to leave you with this, you know, encouraging word. Keep doing what you're doing. Do not give up. Let your passion drive you. And listen, pray. Jesus says men ought always to pray and not to faint. As a Christian, you go nowhere if you don't know how to pray. You can also join me every morning on Instagram at Annie Sings every morning, 5.30 a.m. Join me on Instagram and on Facebook, Annie Love, Annie Love Emmanuel. Yes, man, correct. Annie Love Emmanuel. So you can join our prayer, prayer channel, usually for, usually between 30 to one hour. You need prayers, especially these, these days. Huh. You need prayer, so keep joining me. I'm going to sign out with this song. God bless you. I love you. Please, I hope I did well. I hope I'm going to get my paycheck. God bless you. Ciao. I love you.